When you walk into the school, uh, where you walked in, you went straight into the old gym that dropped down. That's now a library. And uh, there's some pictures of that down there. You can see how they have a dividing line, but there's no, there's no, the what? The stage is, is still part of the, the library. It's all part, they have, it's, it's very well done. What do they but do with the seats? There's, the seats are all covered up. The, the kind of drops down, they have spiral cases you kind of walk around to get down into this library and you can look into it. But you can, if you look, you can see the pictures I have over there of it, but it's, it, you would never know it was a gym before. And I'll mention a couple of things. I, 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 first of all, I want to thank Mrs. Smith for coming, uh, for those who did it. Uh, we, I tried to get a couple other, we have a few other teachers who are still alive, but uh, I couldn't convince them to come. Um, I don't know why, we must have been bad students. Mr. Sweeter passed away four or five months ago, I believe. Um, Mr. Smith was telling me a little bit about him, how he went to a, another reunion um, last, spring. last spring, last spring it was, and uh, he was having a tough time there. So. Take a minute to remember those in our class that aren't here anymore. Turn the mic down. There you go. Get closer to it. Uh, starting with Diana Lewis. Most of us know how she passed away in an accident. Then we lost Phyllis Kleinfelter. Have no idea what happened to her. If anybody knows, speak up. Phyllis Kleinfelter. Then we lost um, Don Rissy. I've recently become friends with his sister, and she told me he died at age 57 of cardiac myopathy. And um, he had graduated from the University of Memphis. He got his uh, master's from the University of Memphis. And he was pretty big monk monk with IT&T. And when they went under, he just bought and sold property in Memphis. And apparently he died a pretty wealthy man. Um, after Don Rissy, we lost Ed Oliger. Uh, we all know we lost Bob Year out. Charlie Scheid. Those are the ones we know of for sure. We think... Jim Saunders. Yeah. We think Jim Saunders had passed away, and um, Lena Sandberg, and Sandy Smith. Somebody mentioned she passed away. Anyway, okay. In eighth grade, this is a really bad memory. Um, no, because four girls had to go in the girls' restroom and repaint the guard uh, that, you know, blocked the door when you walked in. And the reason we had to repaint it was because our names, our initials, were carved in the metal, um, plus whoever we were going out with at that time, I don't remember. Um, anyway, and uh, you know, to this day I still don't know who did it. And we had to paint it because our names were on it. And as far as I know, I did not. I, I mean, I know, I did not do it. Tom and uh, Rudy, uh, Earlier, we're peddling uh, t-shirts, and uh, so they said they were 30 bucks, but now I've heard they have a sale of two for 10. So, <laughs> so I'm wondering, who came the farthest? Uh, Rudy, did you come from California? Yes. 
That would be tough to beat. Anybody come farther than... Okay. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna have to go out and hit the GPS as I heard. <laughs> well, we had uh, a lot of people from out of state. Who uh, we had? How many from Texas? Bonnie from Texas. Yeah. Okay. And um, we had how many from Florida? Okay. And we had uh, somebody from Maryland. Yeah, that's and Connecticut. Yeah. And what state of who have I missed? North Carolina. North Carolina, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, Indiana. <laughs> Taylor Road. Taylor Road, okay. <laughs> Okay, now listen, I know somebody else uh, is, must have chickened out because I know somebody else has stories. I remember somebody in the email. Um, who was it? Okay, well. Um, I, I could tell him about you holding people's hands as Mr. Ferris paddled everybody across the desk. <laughs> oh, I got one of those. <laughs> you said that. Uh, I got a story about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's Probably wouldn't be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> you said you remember cheers. Hey, listen, can we have the cheerleaders come up here, man? Hey! That's a great idea. Come on. Uh, come on. Who were they? They were Ken, Marsha. Get the picture. Get the picture. Get the picture. If you're in that picture, come on up here. Come on. Marsha, just mouth. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, well listen, the Terry uh, said before he had a story, right? Well, I can share something. I'll keep my remarks brief. First of all, it's, it's really great to, uh, to spend time with the, each and every one of you. Uh, I think back to when I went to Bristow School in the fifth grade and I came down from South Cumminsville and the only thing I knew down there was how to protect yourself and fight and I didn't know anything about sports and I didn't know anything about the importance of an education and we, and we moved to Bridgetown and I can remember walking down the hall and Mr. Sweet who came up and says I want to see you after school. I said, Lord, what did I do? <laughs> Lord, uh, what, what happened was I had to go play basketball. <laughs> he gave me this little uh, ball that wasn't the regulation. And I think the girls use it today. But he gave me this ball. And he says, I want you to get some shorts and a shirt, and you'll be at practice. So I got home late and got in trouble there and told my mom I needed shorts and a shirt for practice. Well, she had to cut off some jeans. That was, that was my first uh, set of shorts. But, uh, you know, a lot uh, transpired since those days. And, you know, you talked about Mr. Ferris. He was a country boy. And uh, one day he had his roller and he hit me and I hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> And uh, like I said, I only knew how to protect myself. And if somebody hit me, I hit them. And, uh, and I regret that, because there's things that we do in life that we regret. And certainly that was one of, one of them. And then, thank God, we got out of that sixth grade. We went to the seventh grade, and I, we had Mrs. Stevenson. And what a teacher. I, learned, I think I learned more in that seventh grade than I did in any, any grade. Got in high school and on up. But uh, just wanted to share those stories with you. And, uh, my personal feelings about Bridgetown, and had I not moved to Bridgetown, I don't know what would have happened to me. Probably wouldn't be where I am today. For those of you who didn't go to Bridgetown, we did paper drives, but I don't remember when they stopped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, and I do not remember who was on, who, and you would go out with a wagon yep. with a group of kids. Yep. And we were off school for this. 
and we would go collect papers. Well, I cannot remember who was there except, I know there were a bunch of us, but it was uh, Carol Corcoran, Corky, and Bill Turner and me, and I know there were other people, but I do not remember who else. But we went out to Hutchinson Road. I don't know if any of you remember Hutchinson Road. But it starts down a hill and it curves and it goes straight down. And we were out there with one of those red wagons with a little metal handle. And this particular wagon had some sides on it. And so we had it half full of paper and we decided to ride the wagon down the hill. <laughs> it was probably not the smartest move anyway, but I remember. There were three of us in the wagon. <laughs> And I was in the back. I don't remember who was steering. I just know it was like that thing been shot out of a cannon and we started down the hill. And whoever was holding the handle dropped it. Oh. Down out and I thought, oh my word, we are going to be killed. And um, it, the, the Lord was merciful. At least it caught and it swung us over. And we went over sideways, but it was a, it, but the paper drives were a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Bill. It's just terrific to see everyone. Uh, you're all looking really, really good. I don't know if you know that, but you, you really are. They're really healthy and strong and wonderful for all of us pushing 70. I do want to, uh, to say that uh, uh, I know there are other people who have passed in the last year and in the years that we haven't, uh, haven't met, but Bob Urat was very special to Rudy and I. And my wife Lynn and uh, other people in here, and we do miss him uh, a great deal. And and we uh, we love Bob as we love all the classmates, but Bob especially because we kind of grew up. Bob, the um, superintendent of Wyoming schools. Bob, the road rage maniac who would try to kill people if they cut him off the road. It was a lot about Bob that people didn't know. <laughs> But, uh, but we do miss him very, very much, and, and uh, I know you're all thinking about Bob and Eddie and, 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 and the other guys who have been, ladies who have gone, but Bob especially for you. Well, okay, uh, that uh, will pretty well take care of our, our little program here. You feel free to enjoy the rest of the evening, and uh, once again, we sure appreciate everybody coming. I mean, it is so good to see everybody. Thank you. Hey, Bill, we don't have wide angle, honey. Oh, my God. 